everybody it's Burgle here again for another episode of this hatchet item port example I've done a little bit of footwork for this one in prep got all of the empty files and found some of the files that we need for reference also loaded up eliteness with the hatchet p3d for the model config so let's get stuck into it finished up the p3d and the textures in previous episodes we've got our main and res lods geometry lods memory lod everything that the vanilla hatchet has we hope we haven't done a model config yet for the vanilla hatchet so we're gonna just copy this and put that in our spur hatchet model.cfg boom paste it in there now i do notice when i copy these out the kira tools we are missing a semicolon there and for this particular arm we didn't use zybtech we have used hatchet no, it's not zybtech it's zubitech let's use hatchet not that it matters because we're not doing hidden selections and color variants we're just doing a single item so yeah model config done next i've made inside our mod scripts for world anything inside the for world folder is just preference for organization but i always like to at least go one more folder down so modded player config base and spur hatchet.c modded player config base is the modded version of this we want to register carry animations it's not here somewhere might be easiest if we search for modded mod item register callback think the hatchet is a one-handed item so remember 269 let's find hatchet there we go and we'll just copy that line out paste it in there and go back up to line 269 and copy that was it one-handed yeah tools one-handed go down a few lines tab that in uh, we want to do a modded class mod item callback and change that to p behavior so i get tabbed in and closed off is that it I might have missed something so what I like to do because memory likes it go back and check previous one make sure ah there we go completely wrong that's what happens when you do modding late at night when you're relatively tired there we go oh we also want to add a super in there don't we just so it hopes everybody else is and we need to change that to spur hatchet yeah that looks about right boom wait we have our carry animation registered 
next the dot c for spur hatchet so let's find our hatchet dot c let's check the file paths at the top pause the video and take note of these if you want now hatchet is a child of tool base it's a melee finisher and it has these actions we are literally cloning the hatchet so we're gonna copy that clap it in there and go spur hatchet that's it done we could maybe make it so we can't repair parts with our hatchet or we can't dismantle parts maybe you can't build parts you could change all of these you could add more in search around in the scripts folders and you know make add actions add other things have to have a look at tool base at some point i've never looked in that script but that that's it for our dot c how simple a basic item can be last but not least our config dot cpp uh, again i like to use a template or something for a config so, so we've got the beginners basics i'm going to use that as a template copy that section out and slap it in there and change everywhere where it says beginners basics i'm going to replace with spur match it replace all definitely don't need gear containers we want to have a look at this this is where the hatchet is what required add-ons does the hatchet have daisy weapon melee so we'll do the same and we'll put that in there mm. we'll go down and find the hatchet we can common out some of these we definitely don't need free world and we're not using five mission we are using four script yep. so next we want fg vehicle and inventory base might as well copy that straight out of there Save Python on it. I'm going to close that off so we don't forget later. And here, find the hatchet. Mm, you, you've heard me say this before. Just copy it straight out. Do that. Put it there. Give it our name. Give it a new display name. And a custom description. Go and make sure we point at our model. Which is the hatchet, and the model is spur hatchet, hatchet, hatchet. Wait, one, one, three, three. Now, if I remember correctly, when we made this in the geometry. I gave it a weight of three, whereas it should be one, one, three, three. Might as well match. The, uh, do that again. One point one, three, three. 
click apply. That's the vanilla one that we're copying the config from. Everything else there is good. Just the RV maps, and that will be for match it. it. And that was also spur. Match it. Okay, copy just that section. Paste it there. 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 And make sure these have multiple decimal places. I'm pretty sure that's it. Might be a few typos, a few errors somewhere. The only way to find out is pack it. Don't need to leak this anymore. Fire up add on build up and see what happens. Will it pack? My add on builder didn't shout at me. Let's see what test server. Da. There's an error somewhere. Unexpected cope scope. Line four. Line four. Unexpected scope. So I've got that there. I don't think I need that there. Let's go. Check something for a reference. Help bag script. Yeah, might have a semicolon on the end of there where I didn't need one. Save that. Abort. Do another quick pack with add on build up. Well, servers booted or booting and booted. Very nice. Go have a quick look, see what it looks like in game. Yeah, in game. Stood on a trolley cup in the middle of nowhere. Let's have a look for a hatchet. That's there. Kind of half in the ground, apparently. We have to change our bounding boxes. Go in our hand, okay. Can that maybe move it back just a little bit because it does seem to be clipping into the fingers? Let's see if we can chop something up with it. No, I'm not going to spawn a bear. Definitely chopped up that zombie. Um, 
also let's see how the throwing impulse position is okay that's not right that just spins through the air not how you imagine a hatchet to fly through the air so the vanilla hatchet flies through the air like shall we Yeah, that one goes a bit more head over heels. Let's get another one of my hatchets. Same hand. A little bit like playing free camp, just check its hand position. Yeah, I think it just needs to go back just a smidge, back into the hand a little bit more. Move that impulse throwing position. The infantry views about right. Happy with that. So memory load. What I did last time was go to geometry. Um, There's center of mass. I think I want to line up roughly there with my um throwing impulse position. Let's just take note of where it is. About there. I'm gonna go up and forwards of that. And that goes. I wanted to move the whole item ever so slightly forwards. axis was that the 3d was ever so slightly backwards wasn't it yeah x i'll go movement minus not minus not point not three Give that a go. Save. And this time, I'm not going to pack with add on builder. I am going to pack with Makero Tools PBO Manager. Uh, you should have this downloaded already. If you've got Eliteness, you might as well have had PBO Manager. So let's select our source folder which will be hatchet crunch it i like to use pbo manager when i do my final packs before release it's will tell you any errors that you've made basically that's it new pack Pretty sure that's packed. Turn the sounds off for it so I can't hear it shout at me anymore. No errors, so. Let's rejoin the server. I have one more quick test, and I think I'll call that done for the hatchet. Got my hatchet in the hand. Mm 
See if moving it that little bit further forwards made all the difference. Or further backwards. Yeah, there you go. It's not clipping the fingers so much now. And get a free cam. Now let's see if tweaking that throwing in pulse position helped at all. Um, still kind of spinning. Definitely not a uh, flipping over on itself like you would expect a hatchet or an axe to do. So that would just take a bit more um, tweaking of that throwing in pulse position. It's weird why it's spinning like that. I'll leave that up to you guys to tweak. I'll tweak it myself off cam, see if I can get it closer before I put it in the release files. Anyway, next time we are going to be doing a much more complicated item, I guess. I want to go for um, a storage chest. A couple of things new in a storage chest. We will have uh, an, an, an animation of the lid opening and closing. We'll have to do a custom action to activate the animation of the lid opening and closing. I'll also like to include a place item, like you can place the vanilla barrels and you get a hologram. Yeah, I've already found the model I'm gonna use. It's only a basic you know, a model. I think like a barrel, but yeah, hologram like that. And the action to be able to place it and the action to be able to open it with the lid animating. But your own custom one. Anyway, take it easy peeps. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.